Yo, what's up, everyone? It's your favorite mentor, one and only Forex Hero. I go by the name of Vincent Adaba. And if you're back on this channel, please do not forget to click the like, subscribe, and notification bell so that you get notified every time we drop a new video. In today's channel and video, I'll be just giving you a brief and understanding of understanding how to use the Fibonacci tool, how you can be able to use it to find your perfect entries, and how you can make sure that you maximize on your profitability and also making sure that you can scale in on all the trades that you take and when you can see where the market retest and where you're supposed to take profit and also making sure where you're supposed to put your stop loss so without wasting much time let's go into the charts We on the chat now. First thing that you need to understand is understanding how to draw the Fibonacci. When you are in an uptrend, which is something like this, and you are pushing to the upside, and you want to see where your next entry will be or when your next retest will be, you take it from the swing low to the swing high meaning you have to take it away from this point going to this point or from this point you can take it here as you can see this one was between 618 and 78.6 but when you are in a what this is uh in a uptrend let it down uptrend uptrend you take it from swing low to swing high perfect and when you are in a what in a downtrend down trend you take it from swing high to swing low So that simply means that you'll be coming from the top going to the downside. So look at it in this manner. And voila. So how you're going to draw your fib is from your swing high, take your Fibonacci tool, you take it from your swing high and you take it away to your swing low. As you can see here, it's giving you what? The 618. See this one? It's something like this. And this one will obviously be between these two points. So that's exactly where you would take your what? Your buy entry in an uptrend and your sell entry in a downtrend. So let's look in, in a practical uh, scenario. We're gonna go into the charts, understand how uh, you can be able to see. You must always remember that whenever you're doing your FIB, The 50% is simply showing you that the market has retraced, uh, retraced 15% of the time then before it pushes up. But 618, most of the time, the market tends to reverse around 618 and 78.6. So basically, this area, I would call it the what? The golden zone between these uh, areas. Yes, yeah, sometimes the market reverses at 38.2, but you find that the retracement is not as strong as the one that pushes below 50%. Most of the time, when it pushes below the 50%, you find that we're gonna have a very long uh, movement to the upside or a very long movement to the downside. So let's uh, take it into practical. Can you see here, for you to understand what is currently happening, all also remember that the fibonacci you can apply it on all time frames you can take it from daily or you can take it from for our time frame you just need to understand where you are on the time frame and understanding the nature of the market so looking at this one we are on daily i want to show you just how we are, we're able to spot uh, the movements that retrace but always remember that you wouldn't trade on a daily time frame. You just use it what as a guide to understand. Okay, fine. The market is pushed and it's reversed as this daily 618. 
which now here will become your what? Your demand zone. So you push from here, you break this point and you create the new high and then you come to retest 618 before we push away to the upside. So can you see this one created a double top and then it came to retest the very same 618 before it pushed further to the upside. Can you see this long movement? So you need to understand that as I've said before, if the market pushes below 50%, you should know that the market is gaining far bigger momentum to push it to the furthest upward side. So now you saw what happened on uh, a daily time frame. So I want to show you here with a downtrend. So looking at what is happening here with the downtrend, that simply means coming from what the swing high to the swing low this is the, the the swing low meaning this is the lower low and this is the higher low so you can see here where we are we are between 618 and 78.6 so this area actually it's a far much better golden zone that the market 90 percent of the time the market reverses here around this area so now let's go to smaller time frame so that you can apply the very same uh, skill and using the very same tool of Fibonacci and understanding how you can be able to capitalize your entries. You must remember you take your entries on H1 in 15 minutes. So on the one hour, I'll remove uh, everything here. Remove all drawings. Okay. So now we want to see, okay, fine. The market is pushing uh, up, but you, you want to understand, okay, since the market has came to this point, how do I see that, yes, we're going to reverse at this point? So you take from your swing high, swing low to swing high. Can you see this one reversed as where 78.6? These Fibonacci tools also assist you in putting your stop loss level. Remember, if you are taking this one, it will be very wise for you to put your stop loss just below this low. You can see we have another low here. You see, we have another low. You can just put it below here. Or even better, if you have uh, put in your risk management in place and you have risked very less, you can put it below this 100 figure. That way, you are very much safe. If the market decides that it's going to push further, down and touch your hundred percent you are wrong and you'll be kicked out of the trade so looking at what you experienced let's look at this one we want to see now where this one will be you take it again from swing low to swing high can you see this one is reversed uh it left a week where on 50 percent and then also what you need to do your chart pattern will assist you as well. So all the tools that I always explain and guide you with, they all come together. You can use the Fibonacci as a bonus to be able to understand where the market reverses, where the market is going to turn. So you need to know the Fibonacci retracement levels. So let's look at this one. How would you know that the market will reverse here in this downtrend? What did I say? In a downtrend, you take it from a swing high to a swing low. So can you see this one reversed way between 618 and 78.6? So for me to take this trade, that simply means that I have to take my short position and put my stop loss just above 78.6 because I can see that I'm taking down to where? To the zero point. The zero point is where now we are seeing the beginning of the correction now we take it as what as the 90 percent rule if the market starts to correct from this level we expect the market to do what to come back to that previous point where it started the start point so now you can see this one what we are having we are having the market broke here and then now it's here so let's look and check where we are currently uh with our fibonacci in the current market so can you see right now we are where we are at uh, 78.6 and 61.8. That is between these two points. So I can safely say that 
I can sell, you can sell now with me, and then you're gonna take them again to the downside. So can you see it's not uh, as easy as ABC, but once you put in practice, it will become easier and with your naked eye, you'll be able to spot this type of move. So can you see what I've, I've shown you here? So let me just show you the golden zone. This will be here. So here, I'm expecting to sell and push it where to the downside. But also remember that whenever you are, you, you are selling, we had a break here and we pushed to, to the downside. So this now, remember this now, uh, that's the fifth, the golden zone. And then here, this last bullish candle. Now this one becomes what? Your order block, because I can see that it is the last candle before we push down. So this one becomes your order block. And then here, I can safely say that it's your what? It's your supply. So for me to sell, I'll wait for this, not sell immediately because now I've, I've identified a supply. We have a chance of the market pushing coming in here and then push to the downside. So I'm already saying that this whole area is our golden zone of selling. We have a supply and we have the golden zone 78.6 and 61.8. It's your favorite mentor from me. Thank you very much for joining me into this lesson. I hope you benefited the knowledge that I shared with you guys. Make sure that you copy the Fibonacci uh, level starter here, apply it on your feet and make sure that you take the right place. Check me in the next video. Peace.